Hey everyone, Jake Lyon here for a quick record update. Today's backing track provided by Jerry Burns Trio Plays Sunny. Hopefully something weird enough that it won't get tagged. Okay, try to keep this quick because otherwise it won't be. Um, had one of those things. Went on Craigslist. You know, I'd just been drawing for four hours. Oh, I'll just type in records, search it, and this thing pops up and I know I notice one cover off the bat. And I go through and I notice one other, but like, let me tell you what. It's a whole bunch of covers you don't expect to see together, much less for 35 bucks. So, his phone number, texted, but I lived an hour away. Still, though, I had the go-ahead, so I went, but the whole time my heart's beating. So I'm like, I know some other guy. It's happened before where I was supposed to get, like, you know, 100, like, 80s re-releases of, you know, jazz standards for, like, 200 bucks. But I was going to get them at the end of the day at work, and then he's like, oh, some other guy emailed me, said he could give 400 to 1,000 bucks. Could you do any better? And I was like, no, I can't. So the whole time I'm thinking, oh, man, in this hour drive, some guy's going to, like, message her and be like, oh, I could double or triple or whatever. But I didn't. I got there, and I got him. I haven't gone to him yet. I kind of took her word on it that there were records in each of the cases, at least. I may still have, like, yay many covers that are, um, you know, just with totally different records in them. You never know. But it's yay many. And hopefully as I go through, you'll see, you know, what it's all about. There's a few here that aren't in covers. These I'm not too surprised, but this is What Do You Know About Your Mind? Um, I don't know what this is, but there's two of those. Now, I know I only recognized three albums in this. One I have, one I knew about, and one that I think I heard in Pandora once. So if you know any, let me know. Uh, there are some empty covers, too, which may be sad, but whatever. Um, so empty cover is the players. He'll be back. Nothing in there. Another empty cover is Curtis Blow, The Breaks, which I guess was a single anyways. All right, here we go. And Federal Duck. We have Buzz Clifford, See Your Way Clear. If I know anything about these, I'll say something, but there's Alamo. Uh, okay, David Ackles, The Road to Cayo. I know David Ackles for his um, album, something about America, American Gothic, or Gothic America, or something like that. Just a nice folk sort of thing. Uh, this is one of the records I knew, which is Graffiti. It's a great album. It's got like, um, it's got songs on it. Well, there's one song that's like, Love's red, life blood, like that way, you know, overdone, overdramatic, San Francisco sort of sound. Apple Pie, um, Apple Pie Motherhood Band, haven't heard of them, it's not Mother's Finest. Um, the Apple Tree Theater, never heard of them. Who's this guy? Michael Lessat, Sleep Faster, We Need the Pillow. No idea. This one literally says Psychedelia, a musical light show in the Mesmerizing? It says Psychedelia right on it. This is another record I recognized because it came on Pandora back when I was at college and had one of those psychedelic progressive rock playlists, Affinity. Um, I can't remember anything about it, but I remember it was good and it kept coming up because of the way Pandora worked. Here's another one of those musical light show, la la. I don't know if it's a different one. Um, no, I think they're the same. Ooh, there's Requiem for Susie Cream Cheese on here. I don't know what that is. There's Eden's Children. Sure looks real. Oh, here's one I already had. Uh, Methuselah. Good record. One would hope that... Oh. <laughs> Good thing I already have that one. Because that's only half of it. Hey, one some, you lose some. Hopefully this isn't... Yeah, this was my garbage pile and all the records are broken. No, that one's in there. And that is clean. Take what I can get. Here's the Psychedelic Soul, the freak scene. Okay, I lied. This one I have too. Except mine's really beat up. It's Farquhar. Which they're like a folky four guys. There's the... The Private Sea of Dreams, Il Grappo. Oh, I know these guys. Earth Opera. I have their second, don't have this one. Excited. Um, I've seen this cover somewhere. Border Town Fusion. Can't remember where. 
There is the advancement. Then we have Pato on Vertigo. That's neat. Uh, wow. I don't know, man. There is Montage. This looks like an 80s cover, man, but this is not this is not an 80s band. Oh, I've seen this cover somewhere too. Um Houston Fearless. Uh they I can't remember where I've heard of them, but I have. Have this record. Okay, I have several of these, which works out great. Then I can share the love. Rotary Connection, their first record. I also have this one, Show of Hands. Interesting organ-driven sort of deal. Uh, there's green. It's very strictly green on the back. It's very green. Uh, on the case, the SCLC Operation Breadbasket Orchestra and Choir, featuring Ben Branch and Gene Babage or something. There is Hexagram 16 by Rescue Greary. There is Chris Farlow from here to... So something Rosa with the hill. And we have Dane Hildebrand. Never heard of him. We have oh Woodland Echoes, the Ursuline Academy Glee Club. That's a little local. This one I've heard of too. Uh, Neon the Circle. Um, Sally Eaton, Farewell American Tour. That almost seems familiar, but not enough. Um, let's see. We have the purpose. The purpose of the purpose is the purpose of the purpose by the purpose and the purpose of the purpose is the blues. So I'm going to guess they're a blues band. And then this, this is what got me like right off. And this is uh, Influence, notable for I think being the first appearance of Walter Rossi, who was an amazing guitarist. Uh, definitely worth looking into his story. He had a dad that was really sick and he played with he played with a notable sort of R&B group, but then he also got he invited to be David Bowie's guitarist and couldn't do it because of his father. And he had some solo albums in the mid-70s on through the early 80s, and fantastic guitarist. I haven't really heard that record. I might have listened to a track or two, but... So yeah, that is... I never see... I never see... I, I'd be lucky if I find one of those. Like, I think I bought a big pile of records that was a bunch of country and stuff that had like Boston Tea Party and something else and that was those two and I bought that lot for that and that is I didn't count them hopefully you counted them but yeah let's try to keep this video short um if there's anyone in there that you're like well you can't have them. sorry I'm jerk but if there's someone there that's like that's really fantastic let me know in the comments and then we can share in our love and knowledge of stuff okay bye